this demo we work a solution for mobile video delivery using ICN and we're trying to leverage all the uh, key features of ICN basically mobility uh, support, uh, uh, storage support and security. So here precisely as you can see we are trying to focus on a communication of heterogeneous access so you have a user that is connected both with Wi-Fi and LTE and we're gonna monitor here and uh, below the traffic over Wi-Fi and over LTE and the split ratio between the two. And the application that we see in action is a, a, a dash streaming that we announced with ICN. So we integrate ICN tr uh, transport layer within uh, uh, a dash video player, standard dash video player. And we use ICN monitoring of the network interfaces to feed this information to the uh, 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 video player in order to adapt the adaptive bit rate strategy. So what you can see here, for instance, is that we are able to take uh, uh, the advantage of both bandwidth over Wi-Fi and over LTE and to do an optimal split according to the available bandwidth over the two and load balancing uh, 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 per packet the traffic over the two interfaces in order to maximize the overall bandwidth which results from the sum of the avail available bandwidth of the two. And as you can see as a result we are really able to appreciate the video in a 4K quality which is not the case where you are either using LTE or Wi-Fi alone and without the uh, uh, transport layer capabilities of ICN. We focus on video because video is uh, uh, the most popular application that we're going to see no matter what uh, uh, the network architecture will look like. But what is really specific to 5G is this capability of supporting a com communication seamlessly over heterogeneous access. So that's a technology that we really foresee as a promising candidate for 5G. And the other aspects that makes it uh, really easier to implement in the 5G architecture is the uh, uh, network slicing. So here we are considering what we call DICN, a virtualized information-centric networking architecture that is deploying over a single slice. So you can have the, co the coexistence uh, uh, like this in the network of legacy traffic and the ICN supported traffic, for instance for video, without uh, 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 completely uh, uh, disrupting the current architecture and the existing services. So that's another uh, promising feature of uh, ICN. And then the, 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 there are others that we hope to demonstrate in the future we are already working on like security. So the fact that you have uh, an intrinsic object-based security model makes it much simpler to uh, uh, manage access control over different networks within a unified framework and to really be bound to the data rather than to the connection. So that's something that really goes in the direction of simplifying the architecture uh, through virtualization, through a connectionless transport, and through a, a, a tighter awareness of the network and of the content to better optimize uh, the transport of the network. In this case, of course, we, uh, we have video, video delivery, but I think we should pay attention also to the fact that we are able to minimize latency. So all the applications that require latency minimization can be well supported. We have a reliable transport. So what we were showing here before is that the fact that we can really make reliable even a medium like Wi-Fi, which is lossy by definition. So reliable application, that's something that we were able to support. Uh, it's really a network uh, uh, um, technology that you can optimize together with the application as we do here for video, but it's really improving, if you will, the network substrate, making it more flexible to, to, to be modified in the future.